let's just, I'm just going to start um, singing some choruses and um, just worship the Lord with me. That's really all it's about tonight. Um, so let's just spend some time worshiping Jesus. I hear, I see you, Pastor. Um, familiar choruses. And um, uh, so just sing along. This is just meant to be a time of worship. So here we go. Shut it.
to trust him. I want to trust him more and more. Don't you? Some of you might know this. I don't know that everybody does. Um, but as I was getting ready this morning and praying, um, I thought of this old chorus. So um, if you know it, sing it with us. Um, if you don't know it, it's really, really easy. Um, but I think it's appropriate for the time that we're in um, being so close to Easter. Please, it 
most beautiful name that I know. You're the exalted one, oh, Jesus. You have the power of love. You lift the lonely one, oh, my Jesus. privilege that we have through Facebook Live, through things like this, that we can lift the name of Jesus higher. I was thinking the other day about how, um, hallelujah, about how in the last days it was prophesied that the name of the Lord would be proclaimed, that the truth would be proclaimed through all the earth. What a better way for it to be done than through Facebook Live. Praise God. Praise God. Um, just a little scripture. I'm not going to preach. It's not my job tonight. I, I hope that the songs have encouraged you. I pray that you felt the presence of the Lord like I have felt. Um, just singing these few minutes. It's not even been 20 minutes, y'all. Um, but um, I was um, thinking and praying about this. And... Um, my heart just went to Psalms 91 and verses 1 and 2. Super simple. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in Him will I trust. I have notes. I don't even think I'm going to look at them at this point. I just want to share with you that this time for me, and I pray it has been for you, I, I plead the blood over you. I pray for y'all all the time. But I pray that this time of being shut in is a time of being shut in with God that you find your refuge and your strength in the Lord Jesus. The scripture tells us that the name of the Lord is a mighty tower. It's a safe place for us to run into and to dwell, which means that's where we live. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High that's the only place to dwell, y'all, is in that secret place with Jesus. 
Let's not waste this time that we've been given. God has given us an opportunity to be shut in with him. What an honor. What a privilege. What a blessing to be shut in with Jesus. Don't forget, we're not the only ones that have experienced a shut-in time during this same time frame. Passover begins tomorrow night at sundown, and the children of Israel were shut in their homes too. But there was a mighty deliverance at the end of that shutdown. And if you read the scripture, it wasn't just the Israelites that were released. There was a host that went out with them. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. There was a host that went out with them. I'm believing for souls. I'm believing for a mighty revival in the midst of the shutdown. I love y'all. Y'all are in my heart. I pray for you. I call your names out all the time in prayer. Be blessed. Be strong. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart, soul, mind, and strength. He's keeping us. I love him and I love you. God bless y'all.